NTD and Heimbuch have been uh, involved in a joint project at Interco with ZCC. Mm -hmm. Now, Nick, this has been a fascinating project that has really illustrated um, the difference the right work holding can make when cutting alloy 718, which is referred to, or some people may know this material or refer to it as in canal. Yeah, it's, it's nasty stuff to cut. It's, it's not very easy at all. It causes all sorts of problems for cutting tools, for work holding, for machines themselves. And with the right combination of all those things, you can get some great results. But it is important to actually choose each one of those separate things individually, but put them together as a whole to make a job that actually works. It's certainly been a fantastic collaborative event and, and then the results speak for themselves. I want to really concentrate on the work holding that you've specified for this particular job and how it's achieved the results that it's had by um, reducing or eliminating completely the vibration. Yeah. Well, we, we've got massive clamping force. This is a top plus chuck, which is a 100 mil capacity chuck. It's a pullback collet chuck, so it pulls the work back onto the stop, so it's, everything's held square and rigid. We've got about 170 kilonewtons of force actually radially clamping that part, so there is no way it's going to move anywhere at all. And even the, the collet itself, the clamping head itself, it hasn't got an aggressive serration. It's, they're just sort of very small pads in there, so it's not biting deeply into the part. It's just sheerly the clamping force that's doing it and helping the part rigid. Now, they've reduced the cycle time by 30%. Um, you know, with this new strategy, and this was running the machine tool conservatively yeah. to get them results. I've spoken to ZCC; they've said that they would not have been able to achieve them results without the right work holding. It would have been impossible um, mm. because of the chatter, the vibration. Um, would you agree with this? And how many people out there are running their machine tools but not running them? you know with the right work holding do you come across this a lot yeah Nick? quite regularly Jay. to be honest because the actual theory of a three-jaw chuck now is 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 quite old it's over 100 years old invented by cushman and those sort of things were invented when speeds and feeds are a fraction of what they are now and while they do lots of jobs okay when you come to a specific job like this, which is hard material, you want to really hit it hard, let's say with a U-drill or something like that, you really need something a little bit 21st century. And work holding now is starting to develop on from the three-jaw chuck and actually become a 21st century product. Yeah, and, and also the other associated savings, would it be safe to say that you get better tool life longevity, better spindle longevity yeah. by eliminating that vibration? Absolutely true, and to be honest, by using a collet style chuck as well, there's a hundred millimetres uh, capacity in there on a very small frame, whereas a hundred mil capacity three jaw chuck is a lot bigger than that, so it takes a lot of spindle power to start it, to stop it, which with a corresponding wear on bearings, brakes, things like that. So the forces involved in this are far less as well as having high clamping force. Nick, it's been an absolute pleasure and a great mm -hmm. insight. Now. With the Ironbook system, you can cut soft materials as well as the hard materials, but for all of you hard metal machinists out there, this is certainly and certainly should be a main consideration when cutting these materials.